Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So this week has been a little bit hard. I've had a couple of things change at the last minute. So my weekly decoration video that normally goes up on Monday went up yesterday. Um, so instead I'm gonna do a very highly requested video and I'm gonna plan a week using the Planners Anonymous High Tea Kit but also using their inserts that are free every single month. So if you wanna see how I put that together, then just stay tuned. I do today because I have done my weekly decoration already using this high tea kit from Planners Anonymous and if you haven't seen that um, it I'll link it down below but it went up yesterday there was originally another video that was supposed to go today um, but unfortunately and you guys will find out why um, it had to be postponed a couple of days so I'm not quite sure when that's going to go up but it will be soon uh, so I moved everything to Sunday so that I could Put this video, put a video up on Monday, which then fell through. So what I thought I'd do is decorate these Traveler's Notebook inserts. So this has been requested a couple of times, but most recently by Val on YouTube, who wanted to see me decorate using the inserts that you get from Plans Anonymous. And if you saw my unboxing of this one, you would have seen I actually showed not only the Traveler's Notebook ones, but also the A5 ones. And what I thought I'd do is just because it's something different, and because this video obviously isn't something that's normal. Um, I do something way out of my comfort zone and decorate a traveler's notebook insert just for something different. So these are the ones that Ryan printed out for me. They are the ones that are just downloadable off the website. I'll link the size down below. I think it's B6, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm a bit unsure on paper sizes. But I'm going to start off with, am I going to start off with? I'm going to start off with the peonies at the top because I love them. And like I said, I've never done a traveler's notebook before. I don't know if I should do this in two parts or if I should do this right across the top just in one bit. So please bear with me if I do this wrong. <laughs> Not quite sure what I'm doing. So I'm just laying that along the top. I'm gonna push it all the way in and then lay it across the top again. And then just cutting off all of the excess. So obviously there's a lot of excess, but that's okay. best thing about these kits is it doesn't matter how much I use I always have some spare so using this to do like doing this sort of extra week isn't a problem I love these kits because of how much you get in them it's just amazing actually I'm gonna use my paper trimmer for that bit which is hiding under my planner no I'm not oh yes I am I don't know if this will work, but I'm going to try. See if we can do something tricky. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Could actually save that bit of washi tape if you wanted. I'm actually going to put it off to the side. I might use it later. So we've got our washi at the top. I'm going to do... I'm not going to put washi down the bottom yet. I'm going to put that in later. I'm also not going to use the stickers to cover up the days of the week because I think they look great the way they are. So what I am going to do is I'm going to use... So this is the, in the extra sticker kit. I'm going to grab... Come on, where'd you go? I'm going to grab this gorgeous one here with the two girls drinking tea. I'm going to put that here in the corner. Oh, that's so cute. I love that sticker. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to put in the, using the little sticker kit, I'm going to use these macaroons as um, the days of the week, like the, like the actual dates of the week. So I'm going to just sort of alternate them between the purple and the pink and just stick them all along. my macaron macaroons macarons on there and then I'm just grabbing these stickers from luscious labels I have so many of them it's fantastic and I just want to use the same ones I think that I used in my weekly decoration yesterday actually because I did use the same ones yesterday I'm going to use a different one so I'm going to use these ones these are from I got them from spotlight I think they're American crafts so just to stick those on top of the sticker so that I can put the day of the week back in. I think they 
these ones are too big. I might have to get the small one. Yeah, they are. So I've got these in two different sizes, which is very helpful. So we'll try that again. They're also slightly difficult to get out of the actual thing sometimes, but anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this down and I'll be back in just a sec. a little bit harder than I think I thought it was going to be but that's okay so those are all on then what we're going to do and this is like I said I've got absolutely no idea what I'm doing here but let's just see what happens I'm going to put I want to use some of the boxes to put in some lists like I don't because I don't use horizontal sorry vertical very often it kind of seems really different to me even though I know it's not so I'm just gonna sort of play around with this so I'm gonna put these to do one so they're gonna sit basically along here I'm gonna alternate between the pink and the green so they're gonna go on all of the weekdays Saturday and Sunday I'm just going to grab a little bit of the washi tape and just sort of put that over there so that it sort of continues the line that way that line gets continued the whole way along just looks a bit more finished to me so I'm going to put I want this big pink no one I want the blue one one underneath here. I'm just going to put this notes one on top of that. So you sort of got your to-do section here but you've got your notes down below. And then I want to put just another box. This one with the gorgeous girl from the top. She looks so cute. I'm a little happy with that. So I'm just grabbing my actual planner because none of my notes are in here. I need to actually remind myself what they, what's on what day because I forget everything. So I'm going to grab my pens and I just want to find, I'm sure I have something somewhere. grab this one bottle of champagne first that's going to sit on the bottom of Tuesday and I'm going to grab this really cute sort of cherry cake that's going to go on Monday so I can put my birthdays in and then I'm going to put usually I would put my um, put my weight sort of scales one on there. What I thought I'd do instead is put this little one here that says goals. And I'm just going to trim it a little. Just putting that just above it and just writing in weight underneath. Then we need to put in our plane flights. So I'm going to use my ones from Sabine because I love these. washi tape that's sitting there is on the corner of my desk and Jet's just stuck his head up and nearly got his head stuck on there. Silly Jet. 
just a little bit there that's stuck. So I'm just going to put the teacup at the bottom and just having, because I'm having the afternoon off, so I just want to write that in there as well. So then, they're the flight's birthdays, notes. So I just need to put little notes in here saying, at work. Now obviously I can't do a shaker or a flipper because that's, I can't do that. But what I can do, which is a little tricky if I do say so myself, I do need to put my footy details in because if I was using this, if I decided I was going to move over to a traveller's notebook, I'd have to find a way to put my footy details in somehow. So what we're going to do, we're going to get that piece of paper, that piece of paper, and I'm going to cut this, not a super skinny, but about that skin. Just notice the other side's not straight, so I'll fix that in just a sec. I picked this piece because obviously it's a little bit um, easier to write on, as in it's not look, it doesn't it's not so busy that you can't read the writing. I knew I was trying to get words out, they just weren't coming. So I'm gonna stick these this on the side and sort of do it like I did my um, wild and free week, if you remember back to that. I will link it down below so you can have a look. But it'll basically fold in. So I'm going to line that up. Hold on, I just realised I did it the wrong way. I want the washi tape on the inside, not the washi tape on the outside. So I could use the um, the excess here with the flowers, but I think instead I'll use the teacups just to add in one other thing. gonna just I know I've just done that like three times but actually I have an idea. I'm gonna use a little bit of my off cuts just to hold this in place while I stick it down. And then we just have to cut off all the excess. So you can either do that with your paper trimmer or with your scissors might actually be might be easy with the scissors. Yeah, well, we're just going to do it with the scissors. So I'm going to use the top of the next page as my sort of guide so that I don't completely cut out of whack. So when it's shut, it'll obviously look like that. But then when it's open, it'll have this whole other bit here. So I'm going to go ahead, first of all I'm going to write, grab these little bits. I'm going to put the AFL W details at the top and I'm going to put the JLT details at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and write those out. I'm going to skip to it because it's going to take me a minute and I'll be back in just a sec. Alright, so all the details are now written in and ready to go. The last really footy thing I need to put in here is I just need to add in um, the game that I'm going to on Thursday night. So I'm just going to really quickly write that in. They actually hurt. I always write the, I said do my weekly decoration yesterday, I always write them in, in the colour and not to do that actually really hurt me. Um, so I, I really like the way that's turned out, but then I feel like I need something here, so I'm just having a look. So I'm going to put this quote on the side that says, start the day with tea and end with champagne. I'll just put that at the bottom. I've, it's too late now because I've already done it, but just something that just jumped into my head that, no, you know what, I'm not going to tell you because I'm actually going to do it in a future week. I've just I've had a really cool idea for a way you could use this, um, but I'm, I'm going to not tell you because I'm going to do it at a later stage. So the very last thing I want to chuck in there, I feel like, no, no, I'm going to leave it. I actually really like that. I'm surprised actually how much I love that. If I was using this for myself, I can actually see myself using that really, really, really happily. Um, and doing it more than just this week, like I could do that every week, really, 
really easily. Um, like I said when I showed you guys this in my video though, the only thing that I can't see me, only reason I would not use this was because Sunday and Saturday have like half the amount of room. But you could fix that, you could alter some stuff, move some things around and it wouldn't be the hardest thing in the world to get over. So I do like it, I like that I've got so much more room for to-dos because god do I have things on my plate at the moment. Um, so that would be really good. I like the flip thing at the side. I think that's a great idea. I really like that But that's it for today's video guys. I hope you did enjoy it I hope you didn't mind me chucking in something completely different this week instead um, But like I said it, it has been highly requested and it wasn't just Val recently It's been requested for a while that I try using these inserts um, So I saw it as a golden opportunity to really get that in and and try something that's just very very different to what I normally do let me know down below if you like it and what you think I could have done differently. Let me know what you think the biggest difference between a traveler's notebook and a planner is. Do you think I would actually enjoy the traveler's notebook or, or is it because I like to customize and pull things out so much, do you think I'm better off with ring bounds? I'd love to know. Leave it down below. Don't forget to follow me on any of my social medias and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any videos, especially with them getting changed around so much. I hope you guys have an absolutely awesome rest of your Monday and I will see you again really, really soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.